Well, I'm here in Mumbai because the Global Cities Initiative, which is a joint project of JP Morgan Chase and the Brookings Institution, has developed a new way of thinking about cities and globalization. Essentially, the observation is that in the age we're now in, mass globalization is occurring. And therefore, for all cities in all countries, in all parts of the world, adjusting to globalization is both a critical opportunity and a serious threat. And those cities that are able to adjust and become more globally fluent are able to shift gear and make the most of globalization. So I've been coming here uh, off and on for the last three months, writing a report about Mumbai and to what extent Mumbai is a globally fluent city. When one thinks about the national level in India, of course, there are exciting things happening. Uh, Prime Minister Modi's government has announced that they want to focus more on cities. The idea of developing a uh, hundred smart cities uh, is a very interesting proposition. Um, firstly, um, smart cities is a good idea because using technology, which is a great asset of India, to improve public services, uh, resources, um, city management, transparency and other things is, is a good thing to do everywhere. So smart cities is a good idea. But Indian cities need more than to become smart. They need to become also uh, well-led, uh, better integrated. They need to have a new financial system around them. And in particular, the big eight cities, the four plus four as I think of them, uh, need to have recognition and need to have, I think, some governance and leadership arrangements that enable them to operate somewhat autonomously from state governments that are dominated by other interests. So um, India is, a, is, an, is a, a, a huge nation that's rapidly urbanizing. It's industrializing actually very effectively in all sorts of ways, but without placing attention now on uh, building strong metropolitan cities, um, the idea of uh, 100 cities becoming smart will be difficult to achieve. So smartness is technology plus capital plus governance plus leadership. It's not just technology.